What's up guys, it's Dwayne, back again for another video, back in for the reaction, and today's a great, wonderful, beautiful day, because it's a Finland day. Sauna culture in Finland. Without further ado, let's get into this reaction, let's go. That was a nice intro. <laughs> Sauna culture in Finland, 2020. You see, I've been in a sauna once and it slightly freaked me out because it gets so hot. And like, if you're not used to going in a sauna, you don't know what your like threshold is or like how hot you want it. And then depending on who you're in the sauna with depends on how hot that person may want it. And it may be too hot for your tolerance. So how does that work in Finland? Like say if you go into a sauna and there's someone else in there already, and one person likes it a bit hotter than the other person. How do you balance that out? Is it just like when it gets too hot, the other person, one of the people just leaves? Do you know what I mean? Like, just like, oh, it's way too hot, I'm going. Is that how it works? And it, does it become a competition between people, like putting more water on, to get it hotter? <laughs> Let me know what the etiquette is in saunas in Finland. Let me know in the comment section. Do you go to the sauna? Yeah. What does the sauna whisk do? What does that? What is that? Let me know. Is it just to? Is it cold water on there, or is it hot water on there that you're hitting them with? What is it? Like I don't, I, I don't understand what that slapping thing is and what the benefits are, let me know in the comment section. I'm sure the video will tell me, but let me know anyways. Sauna culture in Finland. Tämä sauna tässä ollu. 50 vuotta kohta ja tässä on meitä neljä, neljä sukupolvea. Varmasti tuota, sauna lämpiää melkein joka päivä, kun täällä ollaan. Ja... Tästä me saadaan vähän polttopuuta. Puullahan lämmitetään tätä ja mökkiä. Ja esimerkiksi me tänne ei ole haluttu sähköjä. Että täällä on niinku vain niin kynttilä ja öljylampu valossa. Ja... Ja tätä eroisi kaupunkiasunnasta. Kyllä mä välillä käyn ihan yksiksenikin saunassa ja lämmitän saunan, mutta useimmiten mä teen sen lämmityksen joko isän tai äidin kanssa ja sitten yleensä perheen kanssa käyvän saunassa, että se on semmoinen mukava, mukava hetki. Suomalaisethan saunoo aina, voisiko näin sanoa kesäsin, kesäsin saatetaan käydä vaikka joka iltakin talvisin. Interesting, she said in the summer, some like people would take a sauna every evening. Why in the summer? I would have thought that you'd have take you'd have a sa a sauna more in the winter time. Hmm. Maybe less frequently in the winter time. Why? I would have thought when it's cold in the winter time you'd want to take a sauna more. Interesting. I'm confused. Let me know the conversation why. Tämä juhlapyhät, joulu ja juhannus erityisesti on semmoisia mihin valmistaudutaan sitten saunamalla. Ehkä sitten myös kun ensimmäistä saunavihtojen teko sitten tuota alkukesästä ja tämmöisiä. I don't get I don't understand why you do that. Saunas juhlitaan paljon polttareita. Varsinkin naiselle, niin polttarisaunaan liittyy tosi paljon erilaisia lemmennostatustaikoja. Pestään pois kaikki entiset sulhaset, että ollaan valmiita uuteen liittoon. Et se on tosi kiinteä osa 
suomalaista juhlakulttuuria. Sauna. So that sounds a bit kind of a traditional folklore kind of pagan ritual. Like sauna is part of that as well. Uh, going to the sauna is extremely important when we're spending time together. Minä on hirvittävän tärkeä osa sitä yhdessä olla, että kun lähdetään kavereiden luokse tai ystävien luokse, niin mennään sen saunaa. Siellä keskustellaan ja puhutaan halki asioita ja ne käydään niin kuin yhteiskunnan polttavia juttuja läpi. Että kyllä se on niin kuin mun mielestä on todella tärkeä juttu. Ja niin kuin tiedetään, niin siellä on tehty ehkä jopa valtiollisia päätöksiä. Se on joku semmoinen niin kuin avoin, rehellinen tila, missä, missä ihminen niin kuin on aika, ei ole mitään syytä olla mitään muuta, mitä on. Ja saunas kaikki on sillä lailla samanarvoisia, koska mehän ollaan kaikki ihan samannäköisiä sit kuitenkin saunan lauteilla. Että tosi erilaisetkin ihmiset voi saunaa keskenään. That's true. When you're in a sauna, everyone's naked. <laughs> Everyone is naked. So it's just like, if you're all naked, there's no... Someone's not dressed better than you, someone's hair's not better than you. If you're a woman, maybe someone's makeup's not on. Like, you're all reduced to... Kind of what human beings are naturally in a natural state. We were all born naked. <laughs> so when you're in the sauna, it takes you back to that and it humanizes the other person. So I, I guess having a discussion about something in a sauna, you can be, it brings out the true side of people, like the honest truth. Because you're not hiding behind anything. You're not hiding behind jewelry, nice clothes, nice electronics or whatever you're you're in a place where everything is laid bare <laughs> i get it now that makes sense i could i i get why you'd have meetings in a sauna kaikki suomalaiset edustavat saunomiskulttuuria jokaisella on oma tapaansa oma perinne voidaan sanoa että et, tota, jokainen on saunomisen asiantuntija sauna on niin monenlaisia Pienestä kerrostalosaunasta, isoon sähkösaunasta, savusaunaan. Let me know what your favorite type of sauna is then. He said electric saunas, he said smoke saunas, he said there's some like posh ones. What, what's your favorite type of sauna? Let me know in the comment section below. No, jotkut arkeologit ovat sitä mieltä, että ne ihmiset, jotka tuli Suomen niemille asumaan, niin heillä oli sauna mukana, niin saatte ensimmäiset on ehkä saunonut täällä jo 9000 vuotta sitten. Wow. Et niin moderni maa kuin me ollaan, niin meillä on tuommoinen tuhansia vuosia vanha perinne elinvoimaisena ja katkeamattomana. Saunominen on niin kuin sillä tavalla pyhä, että se on maailman läheistä, maan läheistä. Että siellä niin kuin kohtaa itsensä ja sellaisen rauhaisen elämän ilon. Ja, ja just tämä niin kuin paljaus, joka saa olla saunassa. Mm. Niin se on niin luonnollista, että tavallaan siirtyy uudelleen ihan niin kuin luonnon helmaan. Ei ole häpeää, eikä ole stressiä, eikä ole mitään pingottamista. I think we could learn something from you guys. As, uh, in the UK, we don't have a sauna culture. And I think we would benefit so much from that. Because we're quite a... British people very stiff. Very... We hold our emotions in, a little bit like Finns actually, we hold our emotions in a lot and we are very stoic and we don't, we're not very open. And at least, even though Finns are like that, at least you have an outlet, at least you have somewhere where you can be open and you can be back to nature and just kind of detox and just, do you know what I mean, and be still. We don't really have that in the UK. Um, Finns, I don't know. You know, I don't know if there's some sauna companies out there, but I think you need to go on a campaign and you need to go to your neighboring European countries, the cold ones or cold-ish ones, really cold winters, and promote saunas. I think it's something that I wish that we did have in our country, like a, a bigger culture of that. Um, yeah, we should. Yeah.
löyly hyväilee siellä lauteella. Ensiksi vähän lyöden kiprakasti, sitten se valuu pikkuhiljaa pitkin ihoa ja siinä on hyvä olla. Ja siellä kuulee kivasti, kun se vesi menee sinne kiukaaseen. I'm surprised that kids are, uh, you take kids in there. Is there a cut off age? Is there an age where the kid is too young to go into a sauna? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, when would you take a kid? Obviously I'm guessing you don't take babies because they could overheat. But what age is an okay age, a reasonable age to take a child into a sauna? Let me know in the comment section. Se kuulostaa ihan niin kuin I like the feeling when I go to sauna and get really hot and then I go out and I get cold. Sometimes when it's really cold outside it's freezing, I just quickly go to take more Lulu than coming out. This is kind of like eating something very salty and something very sweet together. Ja talvella se on vielä niin kuin huikeampi kokemus, koska siinä on tavallaan siinä on se suuri ero siis lämpötilasta. Plus 100 astetta. Ja ulkotila voi olla se miinus 20. Se fiilis. Äh, se on euforia. Euforia, euforia fiilis. Natural high. <laughs> I once went to a... They're called ro uh, baths, Roman baths. So that's one thing we do have. Well, it's only in like certain places. But they have the Roman baths in... Harrogate, which is a north, a historical, actually Viking town, I think, um, in the north of England. And you go to the baths and it's like, you go into a hot, cold dip, hot, cold dip, and it gets pro progressively hotter as you go through this kind of maze of a building. So you go into one room, it's really hot. So you have a shower, go into one room, it's really hot. Then you go and dip into the ice pool, then get up, and then you go into the next room, it's even hotter. Then you go and you dip into the ice pool, and you go into the next room, and it's even hotter. And it's like, each room has like an aromatherapy smell. It's nice. It's really good. I did that, and I was like, oh my God, I feel amazing. So I get it. I get it. He said euphoric. I definitely felt euphoric after. <laughs> Tässä on Freija. Freija neljä kuukautta. Neljä kuukautta on varmaan ihan hyvä ikä aloittaa sauna. So... <laughs> I, just, I just asked you guys, what age is an okay age to take a child into a sauna? I mean, the baby's four months old, so I'm guessing any age? Is that okay? Is that, does that, is that okay? Four months? Would you take your child that young? Maybe just in Finland, it's in your blood, like you just take kids, babies. Interesting. I didn't think... Okay, four months. Saunominen. Varovasti kun aloittelee, ei ota hirveet löylyjä eikä pitkiä löylyjä, niin okay. pystyy tuoda myös vauvan saunaan. Tiedätkö, miten sä oot oppinut saunomaan? Kun sä olit vielä mun mahassa. Niin sit mä vihdoin mun mahaa, niin sä kuulit, kuulit saunomisen ääniä. Ja sitten kun me muu perhe oltiin saunassa, löylyssä, niin sä olit ihan pienenä vauvana alalauteilla sylissä. Nämä lapset tässä on käynyt siinä neljä viiden kuukauden ikäisestä asti saunassa. Nyt no, ei ole välillä niin. oh. Välillä pidempään kuin itse. Mun mielestä tuntuu, että tämän päivän nuoret on ottanut kyllä tosi. Wow. So really, the sauna culture is any age. So then there's me being quite like nervous when I'm in a sauna and it's too hot. And then there's these Finnish kids and they're there since they were like babies. Interesting, okay. It's definitely in your culture, isn't it? Omakseen sen, sen kulttuurin täällä. Ja mielellään myös jakaa sitä eteenpäin, että meillä on kaikilla rakkaita muistoja saunomisesta. Me halutaan myös opettaa meidän lapsille saunomista. It's already became part of my life because when I don't come to sauna, I feel like I miss something. Wow. Yhteen aikaan, se oli, että täällä hävisi paljon saunia. Nyt tämä saunakulttuurihan on leviä. 
Nythän rakennetaan joka puolelle saunoja, yleisiä saunoja. No nykyään mä ajattelen aika paljon sellaista niin kuin terveydellistä aspektia kanssa. Me yritän saunaa kaksi kolme kertaa viikon aikana. Et sydän pysyy terveenä ja mieli pysyy seesteisenä ja, ja et kolotukset helpottuu. Ja... Se lukee tuolla ala. There has, to be, there has to be some health benefits, no? I would have thought, or maybe, I mean, I don't know what science says about saunas. Um, I don't know if Finnish people are particularly more healthy or live longer than other countries, like Finns. You, you guys let me know in the comment section. I'm sure there are some health benefits, but if anything, there's a mental health benefit, clearly. Clearly, because it's part of your culture. Clearly, because it helps you guys open up and talk and relax and take your mind off things. The mental aspects of a sauna alone is enough to warrant its health benefits, right? The physical aspects, I'm not too sure about. I don't know if it actually physically affects your health in a positive manner, but that doesn't matter as long as it affects your mind. So. <laughs> Tänne voi tulla vaikka niin kuin millaisen niin kuin raivon vallassa siis suoraan töistä ja se jotenkin vaan se niin kuin... Mä aina hukkaan ne tänne jonnekin sen niin kuin pahan mieleen. There you go. Läsnäolon niin kuin syvä kokemus. Ja saunan jälkeen ne tila on sellainen, niin kuin sanotaan, meri meditaation jälkeen, että on semmoinen sisäinen hymy itsellä. Että musta tuntuu, että se on niinku se, just se terveeksi tekevä vaikutus, se positiivisuus, mitä siitä tulee. Se prosessi on niinku se mystinen prosessi, jota ei oikeasti voi sanallistaa, se pitää kokea. Interesting, she said the, the uh, process is mystical. That is such a, like a poignant word to say, like mystical. She just says it's just, it just, I get it. It just takes you somewhere else. You're able to switch off. You don't have to think about your nine to five. You don't have to think about your kids, unless you bring them into the sauna. You don't have to think about uh, that person at work that annoyed you that day. Like you're just able to just switch off. And just when you're in the sauna and you're in those four walls and it's dark and it's hot and you're able to sweat it out, you can just be black and not think about anything. And it's relaxing. I, it's such a great tool that you guys have uh, in your tool chest to be able to really switch off and be at one with nature and be at one with yourself. And I think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. It needs to be studied. It needs to be studied. I'm sure it has been studied. I just haven't seen the study yet. Okay. Kannata sauna. Mä ehdotan ainakin saunomista monelle. Minkä takia? Siinä on yhdistyy rentoutuminen ja... Voi, asittaa, uno, voi unohtaa kaikki asiat. Kaikki päivän What? asiat. Kid. Mutta kid. elää sitä hetkeä, mitä elät sillä hetkellä. He explained that better than all the adults. Smart kid. That was really good. I am so glad. This was suggested by one of my Patreon members and I'm super happy that they suggested this because I've always wondered about the sauna culture, what it means to Finns, what it means to you guys. Like, why do you love it so much? Why is it in every single Finnish home? <laughs> like, why is it a necessity? And this has kind of taught me why it's a necessity and why you guys love it. And like I said, Someone find the person, find the brand that can bring it to the rest of Europe, especially England. We need it. Uh, we need somewhere we can just detox and like chill out because, yeah. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you soon.